how should you behave when you're listening on a client Zoom call with a video on? Hi guys, my name is Deepak Shukla, founder at the Pearl Lemon Group. We are a business growth and development agency based in the UK, USA, and serving clients worldwide. And if you need any support with corporate communications training, please do reach out to us and we'd love to support you, whether it's with your clients or internally. And we're back today in day number 40 to talk about, yeah, how it is to behave how you should effectively behave when you're listening on a client Zoom call with the video on. But before we get into it, feel free to click the link in the description below to get access to seven additional strategies that are not shared in this training. So I put together this, this, this video because I've seen, again, a lot of people screw this up and I want to talk a little bit about why. So when people, um, aren't presenting then they go out of presentation thinking i'm in public mode you've got to think about standing up in front of an audience you've got to think about being public facing the entire time you've got to think about the fact that at some point some eyes are on you and if you're in a auditorium or theater all of the time someone's eyes are probably on you especially considering people do have of course peripheral vision so they can see things that are outside what they're directly looking at which means that they can see you with their eyeballs and that means that you need to be mindful of what the hell it is that you're doing when you're on a client zoom call so i'm going to go through the list of behaviors as well as things that you should just not do that i see happen all of the time number one looking away i've seen i mean i'm going to uh let me just see if i can turn my video on so looking away is, you know, if, 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 and let's just get rid of all of that. If, if, if here's the call, then I've seen people look left. I've seen people look right. I've seen people look up, look down. And all of these just make it look like you're not focusing and you probably are not focusing. There's something that's on your left or on your right or you're looking at a second screen or you're looking at your mobile phone or you're just daydreaming and therefore you're looking up. So looking away is definitely, definitely a big one. OK, and let's just write it in. Looking away, whether it's left, right, up, down is, is, is something I've seen people do. The second thing, and, and it's incredible. Using your mobile in view. OK, I've seen people just look at their mobile in view. Now, whether you're taking notes with your mobile, just don't. It's disconcerting. You need to practice better listening, better memory retention or introduce that you're going to be taking notes from your mobile, which you shouldn't be doing anyway. You want to be doing something different uh, and uh, you want to take notes from your actual laptop or keyboard. But then we're, we're, we're talking about taking notes. We'll we'll talk about the other element that I see people do um, that you you can it's clear you're typing I, I I in general do not like and I do not think it's good practice to be typing and I'm typing of course right now but I'm the only person here but it's, it to, 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 to be typing when you're meant to be listening okay so 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 that's something that you really shouldn't do and a lot of that when i say it's clear comes from and this is it poor camera angles so if you've got a camera angle that means you're typing and you're clearly typing whilst you're on screen i've had it when i'm presenting and i think that this person's sending an email to somebody else or this person's responding to something on web whatsapp okay so all of those things are just poor okay now the fifth thing is have notifications on okay <laughs> I've heard phone calls go off. I've heard phone, you know, phone, WhatsApp, Slack, uh, whatever the hell it is, turn off your notifications, okay? So that it's not audible to the other person, okay? Now, the sixth thing is body positioning. So I see slouching, I see leaning back, I see kind of leaning on the side with your head on your hand so you look a little bit bored. I see lots of variations of that. The only ones that are acceptable are sit up straight, lean in, and look like you're interested, okay? So body positioning is another one. The, the next one is touching your face. Now, when I say touching your face, you need to scratch your, I mean, I scratch my beard, I 
put my hand through my hair when it sometimes gets gets in my way. But you know, touching your nose, touching your ears, um, just just general touching of your face, unless it's something to demonstrate interest, intrigue, or focus, just distracts or, and detracts from what's happening on the call. So don't touch your face. Okay. The 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 next one I see, I see this um, moving around. Like, why would you join a call and then keep the video on and then you're moving around, you know, your, your, your home, your flat, your, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Do not be moving around. This relates also to internal calls. Um, as you can see, I've got a large amount of experience of seeing this kind of thing happen. And um, I'd, I'd, I'd absolutely recommend that. Now, the next thing also is keep your video on. So I see some people that turn the video on, turn the video off, and it's clear, it's like, oh, okay, I need to just quickly do something else, but I'll come back on. Oh, so then the client feels less important, you make the person who's speaking feel less important, and it's net negative. So then all of these things, you just should not do when you're on a call with a client, okay, on a Zoom call. You just need to look interested. I will also add, sorry, yeah, let's also add facial expressions. I've also seen a lot of people like just look like they're annoyed. I don't know that I don't think it's intentional, but looking like you're annoyed, looking like you're bored, looking disinterested, no, no, no's. So that's something that's also, you know, important. And then, you know, what it is, is that you do do is look interested, look engaged. Uh, and you do that by leaning in, you do that by actively listening, you do that by acknowledging moments in calls where clients look for acknowledgement. And if you follow this 10 step guide, you're all immediately going to really boost your the perception the client has of you and indeed anyone else, because you're behaving way more effectively when you're on a client Zoom call, just listening with your video on. Don't look away. Don't use your mobile. Don't type use a proper camera angle, turn notifications off, position your body so that it shows that you're alert, interested and around. Don't touch your face unnecessarily. Don't move around. Keep your video on the whole time, not some of the time ducking in and out. Be mindful of your facial expressions. Look interested, not bored, angry, upset or annoyed. And keep engaged by actively listening and reacting to exactly moments in the call where it warrants a actual reaction based upon something the client has said because that's what they're looking for so actively listen and react appropriately okay i can't spell so there you have it guys these are the 12 steps for effective behavior when you're listening on a client Zoom call with your video on. And please do, whilst you're here, write down your takeaways. There should be a bucket load, as well as comment, liking. Well, that's a comment. So liking and subscribing if you're enjoying the videos on this channel.